Hey guys! So right now I'm on my way to go have my lips done. Um, I don't even know if I'm nervous. Like, I don't think I am. I probably will be though as soon as I get in the room and sit on the chair. Then I will probably be a little bit more nervous. But I'm not... I don't know. I really haven't even thought about it that much, really. Um, I made the appointment yesterday they were able to take me today um, this isn't just something I'm like oh I'm gonna do this and then you know not I know I just said I didn't think about it but it's not something I'm doing and then haven't thought about it but um yeah so I'm on my way there now so I'll get a good look at these lips because they won't look like this the next time I film so yeah all right here we go I literally just pulled up. Sorry, this is such a weird angle, bad angle. Um, but yeah, so I just pulled up. I can see the front desk from where I'm sitting in my car. Cool. Um, I didn't get nervous till like I pulled into the street, and then I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. So um, yeah, I'm nervous. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going in. All right. Bye. All right, guys, so it's been approximately an hour since I have them done, and this is what they look yeah, like Mom. so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, they honestly don't look that bad. Like, they're still swollen, but not super crazy. So I will check back in a couple of hours. Bye, guys. Okay, so it has been three hours since they are done, or have been done, and this is what they look like. Not too crazy. So that's what they look like. Hey guys, so it is 10.45 and I'm getting ready for bed. So I just wanted to do one more quick update um, for today. So it's been several hours since I've gotten them done, and I just wanted to show you what they look like now. <laughs> I literally cannot get over it. It is just... Who? Who is she? <laughs> Who am I looking at? It's so weird. So weird. I've got two words for you. Quack. Quack. <laughs> it's super crazy. It's still really, really swollen. It doesn't really hurt at all. Um, I've got like very little bruising. You can see that there, just where the injection went. I don't really want to touch it. Not too bad on the bottom lip, but just off the top there. But otherwise, I feel like it feels fine. I'm going to ice it a little bit before I go to sleep. And then I will do some check-ins for the next couple of weeks, I guess, or until they kind of settle down a bit. And yeah, sorry about my backdrop there. It's kind of weird. So it's, it's stupid. Um, anyway, so yeah, don't I look so cute? Okay, I'm totally done now. Um, I'm going to go ice these babies and probably stay up all night. Alright, bye. I feel like I'm constantly in my car. <laughs> it's the most quiet private place that I have. So, 
Um, so today is the day after, and honestly, they are not, like, they're a little bit sore, but they're not uncomfortably sore. Um, like, it's bearable. So this is what they look like today. Hopefully you can see. I know it's kind of, the lighting's weird. Um, so I've got some bruising, which is normal at the injection site. Um, it's not too bad though. Like the bruising's really not that bad. Um, like this side is a little bit more puffy than the other side. So yeah. Um, I still feel like everyone is staring at my lips when I'm out in public. Like judging me um whatever um but yeah they're not too bad they feel they feel a little tight i think that's the word i should use because they are a little bit sore um not super uncomfortably sore but tight i think that's how i should describe it um i tried icing my lips last night before I went to bed, but I don't know, these damn ice packs, they don't stay cold enough and they're so squishy. So I didn't even bother. I tried using like a lunchbox ice pack and then I gave up because it was just so, it was hard and just dripping water everywhere. So yeah. All right. So I will do another check-in maybe tomorrow. Um, and then I'll just take some pictures every day to kind of show you the progress of them. And then um, I'll probably sit down and talk about my experience and what exactly went on. And if I think it was worth it. So yeah. Bye for now. So it has been a week tomorrow since I went and had lip fillers done. So what the product actually was, was Juvederm. And it is pretty much hyaluronic acid, which is a substance that our body naturally makes anyway. So this is what my lips look like after a week. So I'll do like a side profile. When I look at myself in the mirror, I don't see a huge drastic change. I do notice a little bit more volume, which is essentially what I wanted. I didn't want to look like, hey, I had my lips done, which I mean, if that's what you want, that's totally fine. But for me, I just wanted something natural, something with a little bit more um, volume. I am quite happy with how they look at first they were pretty drastic because they were just so swollen and I thought like oh no what did I do to myself what did I do to my face but honestly um, after a few days it kind of went down significantly I think um, for a good week I had like I could feel like where they injected me um, and it was a little bit sore but the bumps are completely gone. The girl who actually did my injections, she was very nice. She was very sweet. She answered all of my questions um, without hesitation. She knew what she was doing, and I think she did a really good job. At first, when she was doing it, I felt a little nervous because this side here, she did quite a lot more, I felt, than the other side. So I'm like, oh no this is going to be a disaster. My face is going to, my lips are going to be so uneven. Um, but actually after the swelling went down and they healed it, they're pretty much even. So this is how my experience went. So I called and made the appointments. Um, I had gone a couple of years ago to a, to have a consultation, um, but I wasn't able to have it done because the day before, Great. Um, I found out I was pregnant with my daughter, so I couldn't have it done 
because the side effects in pregnancy, you just don't, you just don't want to risk anything. So I ended up not being able to go to my appointments. And so it was two years later and I'm like, yeah, I kind of want to do this. The reasoning behind wanting to do it, um, I really didn't have a reason. I wasn't dissatisfied with the way my lips looked. They were fine, perfectly fine. But you know, I like playing around with makeup. So I went in for my appointment. They were very friendly. Literally everyone had work done, which, you know, obviously they're doing it to themselves. They know what they're doing, right? So the woman was very nice. I took my intake, whatever, my consultation or whatever. Um, then I went into a room with the, I don't know what to call her. We'll, we'll call her the, the lip injection tech. Um, I went into the room with her. She explained everything that she was going to do, um, any side effects that I may have. Um, literally answered every single one of my questions, told me what not to do after I have them done. Um, and then she numbed my lips. That was a very interesting sensation. I mean, same thing pretty much when you go to the dentist, you can't feel anything in your mouth, but... Um, I was afraid to like, like open my mouth or talk in case like the ointment got on my tongue or the inside of my mouth, which it did. And so it was quite numb. I did not feel a thing. I was so scared. I think that was my number one fear was just, oh my God, this is going to hurt. It's going to hurt so bad. And I'm afraid of needles. I am so petrified of needles every time I have to go get blood work done or get a, a shot a vaccine or whatever I cry I literally cry it is just awful and I kind of just I don't know I was trying to like just like zone out and kind of just let it happen and not look and even though I didn't feel anything I almost passed out. So she's coming at me with this needle and I made the mistake of looking at it because it's quite long for like, you know, like this little bit of, I don't know, tissue in your skin. But she came at me with the needle and I'm just sitting there in the chair and like from like the bottoms of my feet all the way up my legs very slowly, it just started getting really hot and tingly and I'm like... Uh, oh no, this is it. And then after the first initial injection, like I could feel it a little, little stingy, but it wasn't painful. I don't know. That's hard to describe, but it wasn't painful. So after a few of that, it was fine, but I don't know why, but I started getting very hot and sweaty. And I said to her, has anyone ever passed out on you before? And then she's like, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, I don't know, I must have been showing signs that I was about to knock out because she's like, you are really pale. You have no color in your face. So I'm going to lie you back down. So I lie down. She grabbed me a bunch of ice packs because I was literally on fire. I was so hot. I was sweaty. So after that, after a few ice packs... After a few minutes of just breathing and I don't know, just regaining some color into my face, we finished and my champ did it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, that was pretty much my experience. It, I feel like I would definitely do it again. And like I said, it did not hurt as I was getting it done. And honestly, the healing process too, it wasn't that bad. Like my lips were a little bit sore for a couple of days, but it wasn't like, it wasn't painful. It wasn't painful. And the day after I had them done or two days after I had them done, I went to a party and no one noticed. <laughs> Actually, my cousin did. He's like, what happened to your lips? Did someone punch you? <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, very good experience. Um, so typically, the first time you have it done, um, your body kind of metabolizes 
the uh, the fillers quicker um, your body obviously it's trying to fight off whatever it is it's a foreign substance in your body so it's trying to fight it off so your body will metabolize it quicker um, and then obviously the more and more you have it done the longer the effect is going to last so she told me that approximately you know three to nine months maybe um, it will last so I'm just gonna see how it goes you know um, and I definitely think I am gonna keep up with it I don't want to have like I don't I don't know what I'm doing yeah I don't know I don't want like really really big lips that don't match my face I want them to look natural yet voluminous and hydrated that is all it's not for everyone and I know that but this is what I want to do and if you don't like it then that's okay you don't have to do it um, but yeah I think that's pretty much everything that's I think what I had in mind to say thanks so much for watching this video I hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up hopefully you found it um, helpful if you are deciding whether or not you want to get lip fillers. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye!